Title, When a Highway Toddler Tail Turns Totally Topsy-Turvy. TL, DR, Alabama woman Carly Russell now faces charges after her grandiose story of an interstate highway toddler rescue turned kidnapping drama crumbles. Plot twist. There never was a wandering toddler. Carly Russell, a 25-year-old Alabaman, spun us all into a whirlwind of emotions, and folks, the roller coaster ride is just beginning. On July 13th, Russell called 911 to report what would be every motorist's worst nightmare, spotting a lone toddler wandering dangerously close to the highway. That's a plot for a tear-jerking movie, right? But wait. Plot thickens. Russell then disappears and pops back up two days later with a heart-pounding story of her own abduction. So, was Russell the victim or the plotter of an intricate storyline? If we were to put money on the story's ending, remember, don't take our investment suggestions to heart, hashtag not financial advice, you'd be surprised. Images of the missing Russell spread like wildfire on social media, stoking the flames of national attention. The narrative. She saw the wandering toddler, stopped to help, and boom. A man jumps out of the forest, captures her, and an intense game of hide-and-seek ensues. Add in an 18-wheeler truck, a suspenseful blindfold session, and a lady offering cheese crackers, who eats cheese crackers in a crime saga. And we've got ourselves a blockbuster. But what's this? A statement from Emery Anthony, Russell's attorney, poured cold, water on our hot thriller. According to Anthony, the toddler. Non-existent. The abduction. A figment of her imagination. Leaving the city, a partner in crime, the heart-pounding narrative. All a ruse. I swear I saw a man, I swear I was blindfolded, I swear the crackers were cheesy. We can imagine Russell's insistence. But alas, it turns out, she was just solo acting in this one-woman play. Anthony states that Russell deeply regrets her actions and is seeking prayers and forgiveness. Maybe next time, a short story writing class would be a safer outlet? Authorities, though, aren't taking this lightly. False alarms are no joke, especially when they lead to public panic and wasted resources. Consequently, Russell has been charged with misdemeanor false reporting to law enforcement and falsely reporting an incident. So, dear readers, as you ponder over this tangled web of truths, half-truths, and cheesy crackers, we leave you with this, in a world where every person with a phone can broadcast their story, how can we distinguish fact from fiction? And more pressingly, if you were in a suspenseful drama, what snack would you want? Let the debate begin.